Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS Ninja interview experience. This interview happened today only, that is on 12th June 2024, and the student belongs to the IT department. Guys, from past 10 to 15 days, I am continuously making videos on TCS NQT interviews, whether it is latest digital experience or latest prime interview experiences, or I have made videos regarding different uh, important interview questions for different different subjects like python dbms java all the links will find in the description box and guys do hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel because continuously we are making videos and updating you about the tcs interview processes okay so don't miss any of the updates make sure that you are present on this channel and guys recently only we have launched notes for important interview subject for tcs that I will be discussing later in this video, but make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can get every update that we are posting on this channel. So guys, now let's move towards the interview experience. So guys, the interview happened today only, that is on 12th June 2024. The duration of this entire interview was 20 minutes. So this video will be very short because very few questions were asked from this candidate. The branch of this student was IT. The first question, as you all know, will always remain, tell me about yourself and it's a very important question as per the interview is concerned. Just add your uh, education background, skills, projects, internships, your extracurricular activities and achievements and you will be good to go. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question is the explain difference between JDK, JRE and JVM. So again, very commonly asked question. I won't go in detail that what should you answer? You already know these type of questions are getting asked. This is just the ninja interview experience. Okay. Next question was why Java is a platform independent language. Again, the main motive of this video is to provide you the questions. So I'm just moving ahead quickly with these questions because they are very commonly asked. And if you will check my previous videos also, you will find most of them there only. So yeah, these are very common questions. Okay. Next is explain about abstraction and encapsulation with real life example. So I have told you that OOPS concepts are very important as per the interview is concerned. OOPS concept will be asked from you 10 out of 10 interviews, whether it is TCS, Infosys or any other company. So what is abstraction, like uh, hiding the implementation and just showing the user the, uh, the useful things. What is encapsulation, binding the data and the data members together, just this, okay. So yeah, I hope this is clear to you. Moving ahead, what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? So I will just tell you orally quickly that method overloading means uh, that in a single class, there are two methods with the same name, but different number of arguments, but different number of arguments. This is method overloading and it happens in a single class only. Next one is method overriding. So overriding for overriding inheritance is an important factor. So there is one parent class and there is one child class that inherits from the parent class. Now, there is one method in the parent class and there is another method uh, and we want to override that method in the child class so we will use method overriding so for method overriding two different classes are used and inheritance is used for overriding whereas for overloading it can happen in a single class only so guys next question is explain project in detail but guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that recently only we have launched the nodes for tcs important interview subjects okay so in this particular notes what we have we have around 10 PDFs comprising of these subjects that is C++, Java, Python, DBMS, SQL coding questions and so on operating system and networking also. So in each of these PDFs, what we have, we have the most commonly asked interview questions in TCS. So these are important interview questions come notes for different different subjects. C++ also, Java also, Python also and so on. So this is, this will be very much handy for you at the, when you are like revising at the last moment. Okay, currently what is happening, you are reading C++ from one link, you are reading DBMS from other, other link, you are reading coding questions from another link. So this is all the resources I have clubbed into one, different different PDFs are there. So it will be very much helpful for you if you are preparing for your TCS interviews. I have like specifically designed uh, these uh, PDFs for TCS Ninja Detail and Prime goals. Okay, so I hope you, uh, I hope this thing is clear to you. This is as a, at a very feasible price of 99 rupees. It will be not much to give, but you will get a lot of return out of these PDFs. I have like curated them especially for the interview purpose. So all the buy links you can find in the description box. And one more thing I want to add here that we are also taking mock interviews for TCS Ninja, Digital and Prime. Okay. The slots are very much limited. You can book your slot if you're not confident for your interviews. All the links are again in the description box. So do buy these notes because it will be very much handy for you just at a price of 99 and if you are not confident you can give us the mock interviews as well 
we are happy to take it all the links you will find in the description box okay so moving ahead uh, next question is what is the difference between table and a view so again table if we can see that table is a place where all the uh, data gets stored in the sql whereas view is the thing that we uh, it, it is not actual table it's just a virtual table from which we can query our data okay which can be generated using the result of some query this is a simple definition of a view okay next question is what is database partitioning so what is uh, as the name suggests we break down a large data set into database into small small partitions so that accessing those partitions accessing the data from the database becomes easy and fast so this is what data partitioning is and why we do it okay so these are all the technical questions that were asked from this candidate i know these are very less questions but it was a thesis ninja interview and the entire interview went for around 20 minutes only so majority of these questions are repeating from my previous videos also and from the notes also okay so next question uh, next word ml and hr questions so what are uh, ml and hr questions so first is what have you done apart from academics okay so extra curricular activities like you played in any sports team or you were in debate or anything in college so you can tell here next is what if you are not allotted your favorite technologies will you still work with us so let's suppose you know java but in the company you are given the project for python so will you ignore that will you leave us so answer should be no answer will be no and always try to answer these type of questions in a positive way so that the interviewer can understand that yes you are willing to work for them okay next is how many interviews you have attended before so what is your experience so you can tell in this particular answer you can tell that not much interviews but yeah if you have attended before you can tell them and you can tell the result is awaited for them if if like be honest to them okay next is what is your approach to solving a problem so if you are given problem how will you approach that so again it's dependent on candidate to candidate that how he solves a problem and what he is thinking at that moment of time so there is no right or wrong answer here okay so make sure to form these answers just after listening to question just be silent for one or two minutes and like think about the answer you want to speak because every word that you will be speaking in this particular questions will matter okay there are no fixed answers for these problems next is what are your interests interest by interest you means hobbies your playing cricket or like listening uh, watching movies listening to songs all these things you can tell to the interviewer next is what are your most proud uh, what are you most proud about yourself so anything you can talk about like you got this this percentage in class 12 you played nationals or uh, in sports or some state activity you did so anything that you have uh, you think you have achieved you can tell to the interviewer so these are all the mr hr not technical questions which are asked from this ninja uh, candidate so these interviews ninja interviews are very small of around 15 to 20 minutes only so not much of the like detailed questions are asked from them okay so i hope all these questions are clear to you if you still have any doubts you can write in the comment section i will be happy to answer all these queries okay and if you want you can like book your mock interviews with us also if you're not feeling confident about your interviews so that's it for this video do hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel thank you for watching this video